So let those who have not been paying taxes not get jittery. Just make arrangements. You have not been paying tax. Well, leap according. And if you have a problem with the, what we are asking you to pay, we are open for discussion. You can come, we agree on how to, a plan on how to pay Kidogo Kidogo. You can pay us a billion every month. Mpaka umalize. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and subscribe for more news updates. I'm Peter. Surprisingly, Kenya has a budget of 3.3 trillion and it's able to raise 2.2. So, in a bid to curb this uh, budget deficit, the President of Kenya, His Excellency President William Ruto, has come out with measures to ensure that everyone is paying taxes. This comes out after Ex-President Uhuru Kenyatta was pointed out to be fighting a Zimio protest, a demonstration that were held in Jakarta and Kamkoji. This uh, demonstration and protest were termed as disruptions to uh, President uh, William Ruto's uh, agenda and his bid to revive country's economy. So, uh, Azimio supporters and politicians from Azimio and top royals have termed this move to ensure that everyone is paying taxes as a target to ex-president Uhuru Kenyatta. What do you think, guys? Do you think that uh, ex-president Uhuru Kenyatta should pay taxes at the Moi estate? Should they be exempted from taxation or not? Pointing uh, to Uhuru Kenyatta yesterday, Riga Digashagwa stated out that it doesn't matter how much you owe the government, you can make arrangement of paying even if it's one billion per month. And hearing such uh, sentiments from a top uh, reader, or rather a unit of presidency, so it means that His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta like owes the government a quiet large fortune. What do you think? Do you think that this money will end up helping Kenyans or uh, used in a development agenda or rather corruption will embezzle these funds that they are being pressured uh, to be paid by people who have not been paying taxes? What do you think, guys? Comment down on your thoughts and listen to Rigadi Gashagwa's speech at Mombasa County. And I want to say, we want to ask the Senate to back the president and the executive in ensuring that everybody must pay tax. It doesn't matter who you are. We are going to develop this country with our own resources because we have stopped borrowing. Because we are saying, if you are in a hole, don't continue digging. First stop digging and figure out how to get out of the hole. And one of the ways of getting out of the hole is collecting tax from everybody. It doesn't matter how far back it goes and also stopping exemptions. Nobody will be exempted from paying tax in this country. And if you want to be exempted from paying tax, you buy an advert in the newspaper and apply to the people of Kenya. The president, the CS National Treasury, will not exempt anybody from paying taxes. So let those who have not been paying taxes not get jittery. Just make arrangements. You have not been paying tax. Well, leap according. And if you have a problem with the, what we are asking you to pay, we are open for discussion. You can come, we agree on how to, a plan on how to pay Kidogo Kidogo. You can pay us a billion every month, mpaka umalize. Kuna shida? Kuna aja kupika kelele? Ya mungu ni ya mungu? Ya kaisare ni ya? Kaisare. It's very simple. Is it the Bible? What we are doing is what is in the Bible? Tax you must pay. And everybody must pay tax. Senators, you pay tax. Your pay slip is there. Unalipa kodi abo. Kama wewe ni senator, umechagulio unalipa tax. Ata wewe utalipa. Ata ukipika kelele. Ata ukienda wapi. Kodi utalipa. And that is a new negotiation because how we are collecting 2.2 trillion. Again, it's a budget of 3.6 trillion. All the, the 2.2 trillion is enough for servicing public debt and paying salaries. We have to borrow money for development. And that money we are borrowing for development. The people who are in office, they were lending money from government to their own banks at 14%, at 12%. This country was sinking into a hole that will not get out. So we stopped that borrowing, and we are saying, instead of borrowing, let those who owe Kenya money pay. And that money we shall collect, and there is no discussion, and there is no let-off, and we will not be intimidated, 
because we have a responsibility to the people of Kenya.